Hi, I'm Black Bright. Thank you to my subscribers for coming by. And for those of you whose first time it is, thank you for stopping to see what I've got to say. Now, the drill is, is the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, subscribe if you want to see more of me. I'm a bit all over the place. Um, and yeah, comment and share. <clears throat> anyway, um, first let me respond to one of my subscribers who said that my volume is low. I've had three subscribers say that to me now. Now, does that apply to everybody who is watching my videos? Because when I went to work, I tested it out and I have a Samsung 20 and it was loud. I literally had to turn it down so that I wasn't disturbing the other traders. So I don't know if it's on particular phones or platforms or devices, why it's low. If the majority of you come back, like say about 10 or 15 of you come back and say to me, look, Myrna, the volume is low. I'll, I'll invest in a new laptop and that should sort that out. OK, so let me talk about now what I am about to talk about, which is the low sun. Now, I'm not the best of drivers. I can't drive at night because I have poor night vision. I don't like long distance driving. It just terrifies me. So I'm the type of person I just drive locally. I drive on a needs basis. Don't drive for pleasure. I, I, can, I take the bus sometimes like today. The reason why I drove was because I had teas to take to my, my herbal tea shop. I'd made some teas and I wanted to deliver them. Now, by delivering, the, delivering them this evening, I can put them in the fridge for overnight. And it means I don't have to drive in tomorrow because the weight of them is too heavy. So if I drive in tomorrow, it's going to mean that I have to pay one whole day's parking, which is eight quid. By taking them this evening after four o'clock, I end up only paying pound thirty for two hours. And it makes sense to me. Then tomorrow I can jump on the bus. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to drive into town, drop off all my teas, sort them everything out, and then drive back once all the rush hour traffic was gone. Now I'm driving up an A road and there's this blinding low sun. And I'm thinking, I can't see. And I don't know if it's because I need to invest in a cushion and I need to be higher up because I had my visor down. I had sunglasses on and I could not see a thing. I had these guys honking me and I know they were guys because they ended up overtaking me. Now, according to code 237, I think it's 237. Yes, it is. 237 of the highway code rules. It says if you're dazzled by low sun, you're supposed to slow down and even stop if necessary. So I put my hazards lights on. I veered into the side of the road so, I, you know, to allow people to overtake. And yet I was still being honked at. I don't know how people drive in low sun. I'm baffled and they were zooming past me. And it made me kind of feel inadequate. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? You know, is there something I don't know about, about driving in low sun? So I managed to wait until there was no traffic behind me. And I came out and I drove slowly to pass until the sun was hidden behind some large trees. And I managed to get home. It was so scary because not only am I scared because I can't see, but I know that I'm inconveniencing other drivers who are behind me and I don't have any control over it. I would have felt better if everybody was slowing down and, you know, then I wouldn't feel as though I was such a, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I didn't feel happy about not being able to see in, you know, because of the sun. So I came home and I and I kind of Googled, what do you do? How do you drive 
in low sun. And what they were saying is, if there's dazzling sunlight, you slow down and you stop. So I did the right thing. They said, you know, invest in a decent pair of sunglasses, UV 400. So I've done that. So I've done two things out of that. I mean, I think maybe I'm too low in my car. And I've got to think about whether or not my seat can lift up or whether or not I need some cushions because there has to be something why other drivers could just drive. And I was so inhibit, you know, I just couldn't move at all. That's how bad it was. I couldn't see at all. So I just wanted to share that with you just in case you're one of those females I'll say because males seem to not to be bothered by it who get um I'm looking for that word where you just get stuck you just get stopped in your tracks because of low sun but I can't think of the word but anyway I was totally held hostage by the sun held hostage by the low sun and so now, hopefully, I'll keep those glasses in my car. If it happens again, hopefully I won't feel so restricted. I'm so vulnerable. Actually, I felt quite vulnerable because I thought to myself, how long am I going to be sitting on this bloody road until the sun goes down? Anyway, apparently this sun comes out in winter and something to do some scientific stuff where it comes down low and blah, blah, blah. But anyway... I just thought I'd share that little experience with you. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.